everybody, Carl Shoup here from Snorkel.tv, and today what I want to show you um, are my five hidden wonders of tween light, which very well may could be eight hidden wonders if you haven't been watching regularly here. So we got some really exciting stuff to do here today, and I want to start off by talking about two very simple to use plugins that will save you a ton of time, and they are the Auto Alpha and Visible plugins. Now, these things aren't necessarily hidden. You can find them right in the tween Max Plugin Explorer, um, but Visible is all the way down here, and really it doesn't sound all that thrilling. Um, and these simple things that, you know, may not be the whiz-bang features of tween light that you would discover right away are going to save you a ton of time. Um, I assume you already know how to use the Plugin Explorer and how to activate plugins because I've covered that in my How to Use the Plugin Explorer video. So if you need a little refresher, you can go dig that guy up. Well, right now, what I'm going to do is show you why you would use the Auto Alpha plugin and why you would use the Visible plugin, and I'm going to throw in the bonus wonder number two, how to use the Scale plugin. So here on the stage, I have three buttons. You know, the buttons are interactive elements, and when I go to my actions, I just want to show you that I have imported each plugin specifically that I'm going to be talking about here, and I've activated them. And all these buttons have their button mode set to true. And I've also put an event listener on the stage to respond to a click. And the first thing I have going on here is that I'm telling the first button, button number one, to tween its alpha to zero. And what you're going to see here is that when I click on the stage, that button fades out. Now the problem with adjusting the alpha of a button is that when I roll over it, you'll see that I still get my finger pointer cursor here. All right, so I could technically still click on this button even though its alpha is set to zero. And that's you know a bad user experience if I'm interacting with this movie and I roll over and all of a sudden this hand cursor comes up. So what I'm going to do is show you that since I have the auto alpha plugin activated, all right, and I'm doing tween light with all these. So for all these guys, you gotta specifically activate the plugins. With Tween Max, some of these plugins are automatically activated. But I'm going to say instead of changing the alpha to zero, I'm going to say, you know what, let's change the auto alpha. All right. And what auto alpha does is it automatically toggles the visibility of my display object to false when the alpha fade is done. So let's just do this. And now when I click, before I click, let's do this to button number two, I'm sorry. All right, click on the stage. Both buttons fade away, but you'll notice that when I roll over button two, my cursor isn't changing. When I roll over where button one was, it still looks like it's clickable. So, auto alpha is awesome. If you're tweening to an auto alpha of one, it'll make sure that your visible property is set to true. If you're tweening to an auto alpha of zero, your visibility will get toggled to false. Okay, really, really nice here. And the same will work if you're doing a from tween also, I should note. All right, so that's great. You know how many times I used to put an on complete event listener in there? So I would tween the alpha to zero and then on complete call another function that would change the visibility to zero. And then when I wanted to fade it back in, I had to do the same stuff over again in reverse. Huge saving of time right here. Now, I also want to talk about the Visible plugin, but before we do that, we're going to squeeze in um, our second hidden wonder, which is the Scale plugin, all right? So on button number three, I'm going to do something a little bit differently. Let's say I want to scale this button up, okay? Well, what you would typically do, you know, back in the olden days, is you would have to tween both the scale X and the scale Y in order to do a scale on something. So here, you'll see that when I click, we get a proportional scale here, but I've had to tween two properties, scale X and scale Y. Um, and if you've used ActionScript for any amount of time at all, you know this is a huge pain in the neck, whether you're tweening or just setting the scale off the bat, it's always two properties you have to change. Well, GreenSock Tweening Platform has a scale plugin. And what that allows me to do, once that plugin is activated, is if I'm doing a proportionate scale, I can just say, hey, you know what? Let's set the scale to two, and it automatically does 
what we were hoping for to do. So now I only have to set one property instead of two, cutting my work in half as I clean. So that is awesome right there. So hidden number one, hidden wonder number two is the scale plugin. But part of hidden wonder number one, where I talk about auto alpha, I'm combining in the visible plugin, all right? What if once this scale tween is complete, I wanna also instantly hide my object, but I don't wanna fade it out. I just want it to scale up and then boom, disappear. Well, that's where visible comes in handy, all right? The visible plugin, which again, I have imported and I have activated, um, I'm gonna say visible false. So we're going to be scaling up to a scale of two, and then when that tween is done, automatically the visibility is gonna to toggle to false. So check this out. I click, it scales up, and then it disappears. You know, not all the time do you want things to fade out. Visible false just says, hey, I'm gonna get rid of you, and now when I roll over this space, obviously my mouse cursor isn't changing. So there we have our first two hidden wonders. How to use auto alpha and visible plugins effectively and exactly how they work and differ. And wonder number two is the scale plugin, which will cut your time in half. Stay tuned for Hidden Wonders 3 through 5.